guys, it's Amy and welcome to a brand new episode inside of Amy Lee's Land of Love. And how are you guys doing on this wonderful August summer day? It's not very really summery in England lately. In fact, I don't think we've had much of a summer. It's so not cool. How are your guys' summer? How is like summer break going? What have you guys been up to? Tell me all about it in the comments down below. Excuse me while I jump. Where? <laughs> I love jumping on the camera. It makes me feel amazing. I love it. Anyway, so today in this episode, we have a really cool project that I started off camera because it's going to take forever. Um, so yeah, we're going to get on with that. And of course, we need to start the episode with saying a big good morning to my wonderful Minecraft family. And there are my iron golems. Hello, Bertha. How are you, Bertha? Bertha, why do you walk away from me? Bertha, I'm right behind you, Petal. That's it. Good job, Bertha. You're so super cute. I cannot even. Your eyeballs today are uh, reminding me <laughs> of raspberries. They are. They are beautiful. I just cannot even. You're so super cute. Have a lovely jubbly. There we go. Loves it. And good morning to Bert. Are you busy trying to find the block of the day, Bert? Which one is it today? Which one are you going to go for? Do you not know yet? Are there too many choices? Look at him following me around. I think he wants a flower as well there you go all right you guys have a good day um i'm gonna go and see the doggies and of course the kitty cats and give them their breakfast good morning everybody how are you all doing good morning kitty cats you're looking so cute would you guys like some fishy there we go comet have some fishy good job and we've got saturn as well and little star over here i think we need more cats the dogs are just dominating this world we need more cats in our lives although i don't think i can quite handle any more pets <laughs> it'll be pretty uh, insane doggies would you like some bread no how about some fishy no fishy okay how about some steak <laughs> yeah fishy bread fishy bread flowers bread fishy bread fishy steak <laughs> never get sold i'm sorry anyway good morning doggies how are you all doing have some lovely steak sailor there we go stay sitting no puppies no more puppies there we go romeo romeo did you get some there you go good job romeo good job we have little lola over here hello lola we have destiny as well we have luna we have boomer over here we have max oh no sit down sit down max that's it we have storm why are you not standing up we have Lexi, sit down, Lexi, and we have Mars. Good job. Now, who should I take with me today? We've been playing Twitchy Dog quite a lot, which is super fun, but I think I'm going to need a very brave dog with me because we have a crazy challenge, kind of, almost crazy. So I think I'm going to take my bravest dog, which is Mars. I know you're very brave, Storm. You are a very brave dog too, but Mars is definitely the bravest dog that I have. So come along, Mars. Let's go and see Mittens and Mr. Frost and Blizzard and Mittens. Mittens? Mittens? Mittens, hello, how are you doing today? Are you okay? Are you not mad at me now? Oh, no, I think he is. Oh, Mittens, excuse me. Mittens, Mittens, the door. Uh, Mars, oh, Mars, you should be guiding the door, dude. Mittens, you can't come out because last episode I did let you out and the viewers didn't see the mess you created everywhere. It took me like 20 minutes to clean up, Mittens, and I can't do it every time I record. I cannot. Oh, next time, okay? Next time you can have the whole house, all right? But only before I record so that I don't have to, like, you know, clean up in episode. Mars, where are you, buddy? Come on! <laughs> Blizzard and Mr. Frost, are you guys doing all right today? Why don't you guys go down to the fun house and have some fun, all right? That's what you guys can do today. Um, I'm off to see Grandfather Oak to get my story, then to the cute recruit patch, and then to our special building project. So, Mars, you come in. There you are. Good job, Mars. Good job. Let's go see Grandfather Oak. Come on, buddy. Come on. Are you scared today, Mars? You're never afraid. Don't be afraid. It's going to be a uh, semi-fun episode, I think. <laughs> Good morning, Grandfather Oak. Sit down, Mars. It's story time. Grandfather Oak, you are looking spiffing. I do love Grandfather Oak. Grandfather Oak, can I please have a story? Can I please have a story all about, um... Oh, no, I have an idea. Okay, I want a story all about an alien who comes to Earth in a giant shoe, okay, a huge shoe, and he meets an old lady who invites him to a house for some cake, and can you tell me what happens next? Oh, Grandfather Oak, that was an amazing story! I really liked the part where the alien goes back home in his giant shoe 
and then they become pen pals and they write to each other and he even sends the old lady some moon cheese. That was great. If you guys can hear Grandfather Oak's stories just like me, or maybe it is just me because I'm a little bit crazy and I have a very weird and crazy imagination. But if you do hear the stories, don't forget to send me some fan art on Twitter or Instagram. Where am I going? <laughs> on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. All the links are in the description somewhere or somewhere on my channel. I don't even know. But anyway, Mars, come on, little buddy. We're gonna go to the cute record patch to see which cutie we have added this week. And of course, of course, I mean, come on. The cutie is absolutely adorable. As always, all my cuties are just so cute. It's bizarre. They're always adorable. So the cutie we are adding is Kirsty. Yay! We are adding Kirsty because I received this awesome picture on my Twitter of Kirsty and her homemade Emily 33 mug. You can see it on screen right about now. Now, how cool is that? I love it when you guys send me your craft stuff, like things you've made. I think it's so awesome. And you guys should always keep creating. So thank you very much, Kirsty. Welcome to the cute recruit patch. You rock my socks. Right, so now we need to get on over um, to our little building thingamajiggy jiggy. Thingamajiggy jiggy. All right, Mars. So we've got to go on over this direction today. You're going to follow me? Good job. Let's go. And here we almost are. Can you guys see that really creepy looking house in the distance? What I thought would be really cool and really kind would be to make a little spooky house for all the ghosts and beasties and goblins and witches. Well, maybe not the witch, but everyone else. <laughs> so they actually have a nice house to go to. And of course, it starts raining and all the beasties are going to come out early. But they can't. They can't see their house until it's completed. So I thought that'd be a great idea. So I'm really excited. And it's a nice act of kindness uh, just for them. Even though they hate me and they want me to die all the time, they, it's, it's death every Everywhere. Um, I thought it would be really good. So I started it off camera because as you can see, it's going to take a lot of time. Um, I've gathered so many materials. We've got a whole bunch of spruce wood and oak wood and all that kind of jazz. So we just need to kind of build up the rest of it. And it's already looking really spooky in here, isn't it? Ooh, it's really, really creepy. So Mars, why don't you sit down here and you can guard. Uh, we're going to put some windows. Are you serious that it's raining? What even? Um, I've got some glass. So why don't we make some windows and doors first? Uh, uh, let me get a crafting table like so there we go and let's put that down here and then let's make ourselves uh two oh wait well, that makes three doors no since when minecraft since when ah pieces no stay away not supposed to see your house yet you're ruining the surprise oh criminy i forgot i've updated and now like they really do kick butt ah it's hard to kill these guys are you serious they're gonna kill me now stay away you're not supposed to see your house yet go away there we go all right so yeah uh my proof of problem uh maybe we should make a bed maybe we should sleep in the creepy house first uh so let's make a bed um and hopefully uh yeah we can sleep and then it'll be morning and it'll be sunshine and flowers again which will be really cool uh so let's put the doors on uh we'll go one and we'll go a two there we go fantabulous and let's see if we can sleep you think we can oh we can good night everybody and good morning. Okay, that's fabulous. Right, let's put some windows on just so we can protect ourselves and make sure no beasties can climb in through the windows. And then we're going to get started. It's going to be a little bit boring. Um, so we'll speed up the footage so you guys don't need to see me place every single block. It'll take forever. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, we are going to speed up just a little bit just so you guys aren't wicked boring. So I guess first of all... Is there any beasties? No. Okay. First of all, we need to build some stairs to get up to the next floor. So, oh, I have some. Yeah. Hey, I prepared, mom. Look at me. Good egg. All right, let's do this.
There we go. Okay, we've completed the majority of the top floor. I'm gonna put some torches up, um, just so no beasties spawn now. Um, but obviously, uh, we'll take the torches down so that the beasties can actually spawn in and call this creepy old place a home. Uh, so let's put some windows in. There we go. Okay. Oh, we nearly fell down. We're gonna turn this part of the house into a beastie bedroom, so they actually have somewhere that they can sleep. So let's make this. Uh, like, do beasties even sleep? I don't even know. It's a good question! Ah, what was that? Do you hear something? Uh, okay, strange. Alright, okay, so let's turn this place into a bedroom. Uh, we're gonna have, like, a black bed. I want lots of black and lots of red in this room. I think that'll look really, really cool. Uh, so let's have a little door here. Um, oh, look, it's the complete even side, which is great. Uh, let's go down outside. Is it night time? <gasps> no, I'm kind of dreading night time. Uh, let's get some black wool. Um, oh, some paintings. We've got some vines to decorate as well. Let's take some white. Uh, that looks really, really good for now. Uh, so maybe we could have... Where did my crafting table go? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Come on, Amy, a silly gooseberry. Let's have, uh, or let's make some black carpet. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to need. I don't want to take, like, too much in case I don't use all of it. You know what I mean? Uh, let's do the same with the red. Uh, there we go, fantastic. And also, as I was doing this, I thought it might be cool to actually remove some of the blocks so it doesn't look, like, completely you know, in good condition, you know what I mean? So just randomly remove um, some blocks. So if we go like this, and um, you know what I'm saying? Because now it kind of looks like it's decrepit. It's like, you know, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Derelict. That's the word I'm thinking of. Okay, so we've got some uh, black wool. So let's go and make the bed first. We're going to make um, a really nice bed for the beasties. So let's put a pillow down. Where should we have it? Just like in the middle here? Uh, well, actually, maybe let's put it on the side. Let's remove this one. There we go. That's cool. And then put some black wool here. And look! A creepy bed! I love it! Okay, I'm digging that. And then we're going to want some carpet as well. And so what do we think? Red. Oh, you know what would look really, really, really cool? Would be to have like a black uh, carpet outline and then red in the middle. Do you know what I mean? I think that'll look really cool. So let's get ahead. Uh, or let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the carpet is all done and it looks really cool. Let's put a door on the bedroom up here. It's really, really spooky and dark. Up here. Ah, what was that? Did you guys hear something? I keep hearing creepy noises, but I don't know if it's in my imagination. It usually is, but sometimes it's not. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a crazy gooseberry. All right, let's go back downstairs. I had this really wicked cool idea. Oh, oh okay. Uh, I wanted to sleep, um, but I think I should stay up uh, and finish this because I just want to get out of here. Okay, what I had, uh, my idea, was to actually use um, an armor stand. And if we put uh, some iron armor on the armor stand, it will look like a uh, knight of armor. You know what I'm saying? You know what you see like standing up in museums and creepy castles and stuff like that? So if we put that maybe here... Oh, no, that's a light, darling. Let's get rid of that and uh, let's put some actual black wool down on this part. Uh, let's remove... There we go. Uh, and then we'll put the armor stand here. And then you watch this, guys. It looks really, really super neat. I really loved it when um, I uh, saw it earlier. I thought it was a great idea. So there we go. And then we'll put the chest plate and then the pantaloons. And then finally, we'll put the... Uh, 
I and B. So look how cool that is! I dig it so much I cannot quite even. Uh, and then we've got some paintings as well. Uh, we can have this room as like a dining area or a kitchen area in case they want to make some gruesome snacks. Um, but also we want to put some really cool paintings up. Oh, you know what else we need to do? We need to do a fireplace as well. We've got so many cool ideas, guys. It's going to be insane. Uh, so let me get... I've got some mossy stone bricks um, and some cracked stone. Um and some normal stone so let's make a little fireplace um just so they can get warmed up because you know the skeletons are always freezing their little bones off <laughs> they are they're very cold oh it's too dark and i like it oh, okay i heard another noise i heard another noise i don't actually like this house just saying all right so let's go with uh we need to move this there we go and then uh the same on this side let's put a cracked stone brick on that one um, and then this bit will be, uh, what do you call it? Uh, nether rack stuff. Uh, so let's get the nether rack down here. Let's move the painting out of the way for now. Uh, let's put some nether rack down there. There we go. Okay, groovy mama. And then we want to go across like maybe like this, you know what I'm saying? And then maybe like a mossy one on top like this. And then out maybe one more just like that just to give it a bit of, um, you know, depth or something. And then let's put another cracked one and then another normal one. There we go. So it looks kind of cool. It's not quite even. Um, is that going to bother me? Uh, yes, it really will bother me. <laughs> it will bother me muchly. Uh, so let's remove... Oh, criminy. This carpet thing is actually annoying me. All right, let's move this and pop that down there. Uh, we'll move this out the way. We'll move that out the way. Um pick these up there we go good job amy good job uh let's move this and put another nether rack down uh like so and then we're gonna put another red uh carpet down now the red uh carpet should not catch fire <laughs> she says i don't know maybe it will who knows um, i'm hoping it doesn't because i've turned fire spread off just so we can avoid accidents uh, but you never know with minecraft you never know right come on let's get this fixed and there is the fireplace i think that looks absolutely amazing i'm hungry let me eat some food we've also got some books for a library and of course we still need to do the paintings uh, where can we put the paintings? Maybe, uh, where can we put the painting? Uh, we're gonna have, like, a table in the middle. And maybe, uh, if we get the big skull one, you know what I'm saying? The big skeleton one, we can put that here somewhere. So I just gotta wait until that one comes up. Alright, we have this one, but there is also a big one. I'm not sure if the bigger one will work because of the carpet. So maybe we need to remove the carpet, um, here, and then we'll try and get the bigger one. Oh, this is creepy. I like this one. Um, it's still not the one I'm after yet. There it is. All right, that's the one I want, but we need it a little bit higher. Oh, there we go. We got it. Okay, that's the one I'm after. Fantastic. Right, so let's put this... Uh, we won't... Can we put the carpet back? I think we we actually can because it isn't touching uh, the floor. All right, there we go. Loves it. Ah, 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 I'm hearing creepy noises again. I don't like it. It creeps me out. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Let's have a little look. This room is looking really awesome. Let's pick this one up as well. Um, we probably should put a painting upstairs, but where could we put the painting? Uh, maybe up there. I think that would look really good. Ah! What's that? Is that a ghost? This place really is haunted. Maybe I better on a on a haunted burial ground or something. I can't move. I'm like paralyzed with fear. What does it want from me, Mr. Ghost? What do you want? Oh, it's gone! Oh, okay, I'm getting out of here! Okay, Mars, come on! This place really is haunted, Mars! We have to go! This really is a beastie manner! Mars, come on! That's it! We gotta get out of here! Oh, oh, come on, Mars! Oh my goodness! Okay, 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 the blood is now rushing back to my feet. I can move. Well, thank you guys so very much for watching this episode. Um, don't forget to check out the link in the description for official autograph posters like these ones. And don't forget, I love you guys much. I need a cup of tea after that. Oh, oh, I can still see it behind me! The scary house! I'm never going back there again. Oh, squids! Okay, no, they're, they're not scary. Calm down, Amy. Oh, okay, I need to run home. I need to see Mittens and Bert and Bertha uh, and Grandfather Oak. And come on, Mars, we've got to get out of here. That was too scary for me.